Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this session, we will learn how to make quill domes. Stay till the end for a little tip. Enjoy the video. Okay, a quill dome looks like this. On one side of the coil, uh, it's a raised surface and on the other side it is hollow. So in order to make a quill dome, we have to first tight, uh, we have to ro first roll tight coils. Let's start doing that. And before we start, uh, let me just walk you through the tools that we need. We need the essential quilling tool, slotted tool, and some glue and a few quilling strips. And today we'll work with a new tool called quilling mold. A quilling mold looks something like this. You see the raised surfaces here and the hollow space on the other side. Let's see how we can make uh, domes using the quilling mold. Today I will work with pink and uh, green strips to make a um, uh, quilling dome. Uh, there are several ways of rolling tight coils using multiple strips. Uh, in my earlier videos, uh, I have explained how to uh, roll a tight coil, but it was using just one strip. Uh, today, we will also learn how to roll multiple strips together. I will show you two ways. The first method will include gluing up the strip ends together to make one long strip. I'll show you uh, quickly how to glue down the strips. Just apply very small, very little of glue on the edges and stick them both together. Make sure that uh, the edges are aligned together properly and that they are not skewed. Okay, I have stuck three strips and I will stick a couple more quickly. If you apply a lot of glue, uh, it will take a bit of time for the edges to stick together. So very little glue is actually more. Okay. Do not rush through sticking the edges together because if it is still uh, wet, when rolling the strips will come off okay so take some time to stick the strips together all right so i have used six to seven strips now and that is one long strip okay now the usual method is to use the slotted tool and start rolling Make sure you start rolling once the glue is dried on all the edges of the strips. Okay. And from time to time, it's better to keep tugging at the coil just to make sure that it is uniformly wound <clears throat> and that there are no loose parts of the coil. Okay. All right. We reached at the end of the strip. Now one final tug and then I'll stick it down. And because it is a pretty long strip, be careful when you are pulling it out. And the strips are tightly wound, so uh, be careful when you pull the tool out. <coughs> okay, all right. Now, this is a tight coil. So there are six, seven strips in it. And that's how a tight coil is wound using multiple strips. Okay, before we proceed to making a dome, I want to show you the other method of uh, sticking uh, multiple strips together. Okay, for this I'll take pink and green strips. Instead of sticking the edges together all at once, I would want to roll individual strips. First, the I'll start with the pink strip. I'll just start wind, uh, rolling it as usual and when you reach the end of the strip 
take the uh, take another strip insert insert the edge of the other strip into it make sure it is aligned well and then start rolling as usual now oh, that's the problem with not sticking the edges okay be careful be slow all right <coughs> When you reach the end, leave considerable amount of the strip at the end so that the other strip sits well through the gap. Okay. Be gentle when you're rolling. Good. So this is another method. <clears throat> I usually stick them down but uh, if you are comfortable with this method you can do it this way also keep tugging at the strip at the end of the strip and uh, check if the coil is sitting tight enough One last. This method is especially useful when you are using with when you are uh, trying to make a dome using thinner strips this is a 5 mm strip here uh, that i'm using uh, if you are using okay if you are using 1 mm 1 mm or 2 mm strips uh, even though you stick it it will be sometimes difficult to get them rolling because they might snap So it is better to give the extra strength to the 1mm or 2mm strip by uh, inserting it into the other uh, coil, into the coil, rather than sticking the strips together first and then start rolling, okay? So there we are done. We will glue it down. <coughs> there. Again, be careful uh, to wait until the edges, the edge is sealed. and before you take it off the tool okay there that's one tightly wound coil all right okay coming to making the mold now uh, i have seen people going for uh, a size of the dome which is closer to this so with something like this here okay and they start pressing it down right from there but what i would like to do is i would like to start from a bigger mold just to get the center pressed down well okay so the point here is the center the center of the coil so from there i start from a larger circle larger dome to the next one, to the next smaller one, and then to even smaller one, and then I just keep doing it along these sizes. Okay, keep going back and forth. Do not press on any one side, but press from the center downwards. Okay. So that's it. Uh, this is the max. There. That's the dome. Okay. The surface of the coil, uh, the surface of the dome has to be uniform. There are no uh, paper sticking out like in this, unlike in this dome. Um, this, you can see the 
the edge of the paper sticking out here so there are bumps in the surface right we we don't want that we need a neat finish to it uh, this happened because while sticking the strips together uh, i did not align uh, the edges properly so make sure you avoid that and uh, uh, press down smoothly on the mold just so it's a proper smooth dome shape okay uh, let's do the same thing for the other coil too i'll start with the bigger mold press it down from the center towards the sides move along to the smaller domes it's always from the center to the sides side and down center side and down don't be afraid to go even smaller if if the if the top of the dome is not aligned is not uh, shaped properly keep going back and forth <coughs> okay there it's done sometimes um, you may not need the mold itself you can just use your fingers to push the mold just press it at the center gently but if you just push it hard the coil may come off so just gently press it or sometimes you can use a uh, anything uh, an object to just send um, press in the center to make a dome shape okay that's more like a conical kind of a shape but the, with the fingers uh, sometimes uh, if you are making uh, domes uh, a couple of domes that you want to be of uniform size you may not be able to get the exact similar looking domes so for that uh, for the for the sake of um, achieving uniformity in all the domes that you make a quilling mold comes very handy so uh, this is not the shape i want for this project right now so i would just uh, go back to my mold and get the proper circular dome shape go back to my mold and press it and yeah my shape is intact now okay all right now uh a tip about gluing down this the dome will retain its shape only if the uh, inside is glued down uh, if you have to apply glue on the inside to retain its shape otherwise the it will go back if you press it will go back into the shape of a coil right so in order for this shape to stay we need to apply glue and here's a little tip about how to apply glue on the insides i have seen uh, artists apply glue using their fingers like dab in glue and then go around the uh, go inside the hollow space and apply it but that is a little messy i felt because you have glue on your fingers and if you want to handle another tool your hands are sticky so what I would suggest is have glue in a separate container and use a painting brush. You can use a skewer stick also, but with a skewer stick, you cannot go in the center and you cannot apply evenly. So a brush is a very handy tool, a paint brush. Um, what I why what I usually do is I use water to dip my brush in before I apply glue because um, every time I use glue uh, with a brush I make sure that the brush after the use goes back into the water because if you leave the brush with the glue on it uh, out in the air it dries up and the bristles will get damaged right and it will take a lot of time to get the glue off of it for uh, use next time so okay um, now in uh, i'll show you how to apply the glue uh, dab the brush and then start applying in the inside the hollow space okay 
make sure glue gets into every crease okay just a little bit of glue is enough you see how smooth it looks right wait we will leave that to dry okay we'll do the same thing sometimes um um you might need it on the outside as well okay on the uh, on on the surface of the dough i usually don't use it one side is enough but if you want your project to be sturdy um apply it on the outside as well so for this i usually uh i usually start with the inside after the insides are dry after the inside gets dry then i use my uh, tweezers to get hold of the dome and then start applying the glue don't go this way go along the oops okay i'll show you with, just by holding it so don't go along uh, go along the uh, crease the paper creases you can as well do that but you will see the direction of the glue and which is not in alignment with the direction of the creases okay i usually don't uh, apply it on the surface because after the glue dries okay there is uh, a shiny layer to it which uh, uh spoils the look i feel because it doesn't look like paper anymore right uh so i left it to dry so uh you see there is a this is the look of the paper you 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 cannot see any shiny substance on it any glue layer on it this is the natural look of the paper and i want it to stay that way okay so uh that is how if you want to uh make it even more stronger i uh, don't to be a little more stronger go back uh with the brush again and apply more blue in it okay so that's it that's how the domes are made <clears throat> so i have used 6 7 strips into this uh, dome if you want bigger domes you can add keep adding more uh, number of paper strips okay and uh, follow the tips uh, do not uh, use a lot of glue or make it messier by using uh, your fingers to apply glue uh, use a proper brush <coughs> and uh, yeah that's it for today we will uh i'll learn more uh in the next uh, video when i will try to come up with uh, a project making use of the domes okay i would like you to try the methods i have shown and uh, let me know if you like the video and if you have any suggestions or questions for me leave them in the comments and i will try to answer them uh and i will meet you again in the next video bye